He got to think. He does have defensive stopper. Defensive stopper can't stop me, baby. Ah! <laughs> I swear to God. Let's say if you missed that, God damn it. Yo, what is up, y'all? Willie Beeman here, getting ready to bring you guys another 2K video. So today's video is going to be all about how to get a clean record in this game, okay? It's a lot of simple rules that have just been passed down from 2K to 2K. And uh, as you can see there, my boy Quizzy has a 218 and 20 record. Um, we pretty much got a like a 97% oh, like win percentage with this lineup. And I'm going to go through why we can just completely dominate. If we really wanted to be super tryhardy, we could just play a thousand games and end up having just godlike records. But that shit is boring to me, so we don't really do that. But I'm, I'm going to tell you guys how you can do it if you want to do that. Uh, first thing, the cardinal rule of having a good record is to never, ever, 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 ever play with randoms. Don't do it. Don't play with randoms. Don't play with subs. You know, if you're a YouTuber, don't pick up your subs in any kind of sub stream. You're going to take L's. And it's not it's not necessarily because your subs or the randoms are terrible. It's going to be nine times out of ten. You're not going to have any communication or, you're, you know, you're not going to have any kind of chemistry. So, you know, your defense and shit is going to be really lax. And, uh, you know, you give up a few buckets here and there, you can take an L, you know, if you, if you don't have your shit on point, uh, you know, against a good team, you can take an L. So that's number one. Do not play with randoms. Do not play with subs. Okay. So number two is going to be now that we're playing with our homies, you want to have good synergy between your archetypes okay this is very very important the two players that you pick you want to make sure that they match together pretty well you want to have a shot creator and a glass cleaner you want to have a post scorer and a rim protector you want to have a a play sharp and you know really you know anything with the player like a, another big you can do a lot of different combinations but you want to make sure that it is a tried and true good lineup which you guys can find that out from all kinds of other videos my, our lineup is a post scorer and a rim protector where the post scorer runs the point guard or not the, I'm sorry the rim protector runs a point guard and the post scorer runs the center that way the rim protector seven foot can guard every little ass guard out there and then if we get a big center I can box out and I can get all the rebounds it's not even a big deal if we go against all the traditional lineups it's a GG you know we never have trouble with those you know the shot creator glass cleaner lineup that we're going against right now reason why i picked this gameplay is because i probably had the worst shooting game of all time and we still 22 owed this team and uh, i'm not saying that these guys are like ultra comp or anything but that just goes to show you that you know if if you have good synergy and you know good ar archetype combinations you can really just kind of dominate based off of that which kind of brings me to my third point which is going to be always 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 play good defense man defense is the name of the game this year last you know 2k 16 2k 17 even 2k 18 you could really just kind of dominate on offense which you can do that in this game but if you want to have a godlike record you're gonna have to play really good defense um you know in those other games you wanted a godlike record you still need to play good defense but it's not as often as in this game you're not gonna you're not you're rarely gonna go through a game where you don't have to play you know at least two or three defensive possessions which you know if you don't get stops you're gonna lose you're gonna lose um and so that's that's the main thing you want to make sure that you know you and your your teammate know if you're gonna be switching on everything whether you're gonna be you know playing right left whether you're gonna be having somebody try to fight through the screens and if they get hit with a heavy screen you do a switch um, there's a lot of different ways you can play on the twos and what comes with the chemistry of playing with the same person over and over again is you can figure out what lineups work best with which defensive strategy so if we run against two big players we can literally play right left and just switch on everything i'll pick up all the rollers he'll pick up all the poppers and so he can play up i can play down and then we can pick right left whenever they're trying to do you know some kind of you know pick and pick and roll type of situation um <clears throat> you know if you're going against a 
you know, a really small dribble kind of guy with a bigger guy. A lot of times for us, we'll play where Quizzy will try to fight through uh, over under screens, you know, depending on whether it's a shooter or just a dribbler. Um, and that way Quizzy will always stay on like the dribbler kind of guy. And I just always play kind of underneath and, uh, you know, make them shoot. You know, if they can shoot a bunch of three point shots and they don't have a three point shooter with their guard and they beat us like that, you know, we'll take it. That, that literally never happens because most of the time that little guy that's going to be, you know, taking those shots, once they miss one or two shots, then I just get in the post. Quizzy gets down low, grabs every single rebound, and I just shoot post fades, you know, for the game. Um, so yeah, you just want to find out strategies. You don't have to run our exact lineup, but I'll tell you right now, our lineup is, I, I've watched a lot of different streamers and a lot of different YouTubers on the twos. This lineup is easily the easiest lineup to get big streaks on. Easy, easy ass lineup. And I'll tell you right now, as long as your, your rim protector or your, uh, your lockdown can shoot fairly decently, my silver dimer helps out immensely, immensely. Like a silver dimer definitely makes a huge difference. Dimer is a huge badge this year. Um, I definitely recommend, you know, you guys running with somebody with a pretty decent dimer in like wreck or something like that. And so now we're going to do like a quick little backdoor just for the game. And that comes down to communication he said, Hey, I'm about to cut boom, hit them on the cut. Easy game. Um, so that's just kind of showing you guys, if you want to be sweats in the park, man, I can definitely tell you guys how to do it. If you have questions on what's a good lineup or if your lineup is very good, let me know in the comments below and I'll definitely answer all the questions I can. Anyway, this is Willie Beeman and I'm out y'all. Peace.